The wheel of fate is turning. The wheel of fate turns once again with Blaz Blue Central Fiction Special Edition for Nintendo Switch. Oh, that's a mouthful. This conversion of the 2015 fight includes all the DLC and content from Patch 2.0. After Blaz Blue Cross Tag Battle took the Mickey with DLC, it's refreshing to see a feature complete game from Arc System Works. The special edition sports a head count of 36 playable characters alongside the massive story mode you typically find in the Blast Blue game. In addition to this, you have the arcade mode, challenges, gallery, practice, score attack, training, and tutorial. Every mode you expect to see in a fighting game is present and correct. But some of the more unique modes include Grin the Abyss, which adds RPG elements to the mix, and Speed Star mode where you must defeat as many enemies as possible within the time limit. The game supports local multiplayer and the Switch's tabletop mode, with each player rocking a single Joy-Con. Central Fiction is a fighting game that appeals to everyone by offering two flavors of gameplay, technical and stylish. The technical mode offers a traditional experience for hardcore players, while the stylish mode is geared towards a casual demographic that wants simpler inputs for special moves. How does the conversion fare on the Nintendo Switch? To begin with, the game runs at 720p in both docked and handheld mode. When played on the Switch's tiny screen, the game looks great, but leans towards the blurry side on the larger TV. Despite the rough edges, Central Fiction is a beautiful game, and the 2D artwork remains a treat in this 3D focused industry. Of course, I can't forget to mention the game's amazing heavy metal soundtrack. Curiously, the online lobbies used in the previous iterations haven't made the cut. You can still fight people over the internet, but the omission of lobbies is still baffling after the Switch version of Cross Tag ran them without a hitch. Unfortunately, some fans might be disappointed over the absence of an English dub, despite every other entry in the series receiving a dub. On the bright side, the game runs at a rock solid 60 frames per second and loading times are super short. While the lack of an English dub and lobbies might disappoint potential buyers, this remains a solid conversion from Nintendo's hybrid system and stands as the most feature complete game in the Blast Blue series. If you're in the market for a new fighting game for the Switch, you can't go wrong with Central Fiction.